It's a decent map. Maybe 1v1. <laughs> Okay, okay. Alright. No lag problems this time. Yep. Slight change in the teams as Entris seems to have, have disappeared. Um, so in the top part of the map, we have in the blue, in the Terran, in the Protoss, it is Death Row and Probe. Death Row. And Probe. <laughs> yep, and at the bottom... Half of the map we have to Tykes Chaosy spawning as the Protoss player, and in the bottom right, also Protoss, we have D. Hmm, Mad Bond. So, you know, as we know, Chaos is a little bit of a newer player to StarCraft in general, so he's not as used to a lot of this stuff. Man Bond's been around for a while, but he's a person that often thinks outside of the box on purpose. Death Row. Actually, I haven't seen a lot of him play. I think he's just a really solid, really solid Terran player. <laughs> no other way to describe it. And Pro plays Zerg normally. He's playing Protoss right now, which is his second best race, from what I understand. Okay, I'll see. Getting excited, dropping the cannons already. Forge is already complete. This is a very strange uh, cannon rush, which is he's going to put the cannons out here, trying. Well, no, this is not cannon rush. This is a cannon contain. He's trying to lock the Terran in his base <laughs> and never let him leave. <laughs> Holy shit, walls is Manbon, which is why he is on Manbon's team. Uh, unfortunately, he's not actually getting this close enough to block off an apple. So, what this is, what this is gonna do? Oh goodness! What this is gonna do is. Probably nothing. This, uh, I honestly expect that uh, Death Row is just gonna put his base out there, build up, run that over with his army, and get a third. It's unfortunate for Chaosy. <laughs> Quite a few minerals sunk into that uh, uh, contain. Oh, by the way, Manbon is actually saying it's like, it's like, man, doing that in Legacy of the Void. That's like getting a new Smash Brothers game and then playing Fox and Final Destination. Well. Little do you know, my friend, that in the new Smash Brothers, there's Omega Mode, which I find hilarious because it is my ID, and it is literally turns every map into Final Destination. <laughs> it just changes the theme of the Final Destination. It makes it makes it into a flat, single platform. Interesting. With a different design. No items. So, not only can you play Fox in Final Destination, but you can play Fox on whatever Final Destination you want. Sounds awesome. Right? It's actually a pretty good game. You should give a shot if you haven't played it yet. Uh, I want to so bad. I think that's going to be my Christmas gift to myself once the uh, bonus gets here from work. Anyway, going down. Oh, not uh... done yet. It's like, oh, okay, you're going to rebuff my cannons, huh? Okay, I'm going to build more stuff near your base. Mm, command center dropping on the natural for death row. And I'm gonna get scouted here by uh, Mr. Probe. Not gonna see anything too crazy. Of course, Probe being sneaky. Done, done. <laughs> <Dun. laughs> you got a warp and blink stalkers behind his base? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, wait, oh, man. Okay, I gotta, I gotta see this from the man bomb cam. Oh, it's visible. He knows about it, but his, his brain. Oh, Hero Zealot, top of the map, gonna take down the siege tank all by himself. Oh. He kills it yeah. before he dies. <laughs> Man's bon Man Bond's attention. He, he's not focused down that part of his base. He does not know about the pylon yet. He does see a few units walking into his base. His camera sh attention still is not shifted. He's focused on putting down buildings. But stuff is starting to die. There's stalkers in his base, bleak stalkers in his base. He has a mother before floating over on the other end of the map, it is not home, it cannot help defend. And more units are being warped in at the proxy pylon that is clearly visible at the back of his base. And disaster is striking for Manbon right now. <laughs> Probes around on that one stalker and decided, no, let's not do that. Flint's Forge trying to go out to the warpers and isn't quite able to cut it. 
Meanwhile, we can see that his partner, Chaos, is expanded to his <laughs> opponent's third. <laughs> and said, deal with it. As he cannot send any compartments to. Okay. <laughs> Hold on, overcharge. Good unit there. Oh, he's going to hit the reinforcement line. It's a little bit annoying. You're going to have enough time to focus that down, though. Yes. Mm. Also, take out the probe. For good thing. Oh, he's moving forward. He's trying to get the mothership forward. It's moving away. He does take it out. Lincoln to get the soccer flag as best he can. Does lose one. Boats and overcharge still in play. Oh, 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 oh. double damage. Double damage in the warp end units, obliterating a stalker in a single blow. Yikes. And while on the other side of the map, we have a minor engagement going on. There's a few uh, Marines and Cyclone clean out the cannon thing. <laughs> the cannon thing. Cannons, not a contain. Our units warping in, no attempt to shoot at them while they're warping in. We have a disruptor now in play, and that's not something to sneeze at. That is essentially an extremely expensive, dangerous bailing. Looks like he's actually not going to respect it. There are two units in the Protoss arsenal that survive a single disruptor blast that needs to be activated. Come on, man, Bon, activate. Needs to reactivate. No. <laughs> oh no. You can press the button. You got. You got to hit the button first. You got to hit the power button. So here's the thing. That actually kills every single Protoss unit in one blast, with the exception of Zalt and Stalker, because it does 120 damage. If you have two of them, it kills everything, almost except for like an Archon. <laughs> Maybe a Thor. 360 damage. Blast. And as you can see here, certainly it's a scary unit. Definitely was intimidating. Uh, <laughs> to some extent. Wasn't quite able to make it happen, though. Man Bun, however, has stabilized. Took a pretty large amount of damage, and you're still piling on the back of the face, but not down to the natural now, but off the to the left. <laughs> still. Chaos's expansion is going down. It's going to lose a sudden next four. There's four Marines getting a uh, real nice bonus on that V check. <laughs> yes. I'm thinking of those Nexus all by themselves. Man, take a story to tell when we go home. It's a good thing to have on your marine resume. Took down the Nexus all by myself. My buddies Bob, Jim, and John stood by and watched. I didn't do anything. It's all me. Bob, Jim, and John. Bob, Jim, John. <laughs> oh, man. Man bun moving out on the map here. Dancing around a little bit. I don't think he knows what direction he wants to go. Uh, found a pylon. Probe is being sneaky. That probe, death row being sneaky. He's putting down an expansion between the two bases. That is easy to find. Let's see if either of them actually do. Very easy to find, yes. Alright, uh, chaos he is, uh... Oh. Base is under attack. You can see that very easily if he decided to go over there. Cybercore did go down, so he lost his basic tech there. So, you know, ninja expansions like this are real crap. He's gonna try and expand there. Too bad, Death Row. You know, and as on this stream, it's the guy who does stupid crap installs people in. No, you're a new guy. Doing what you need to to win is what you are, my friend. But you'll hear that later when you re when you rewatch the VODs. Uh, well, the convention oh, actually looks cool finished. with the Nexus in it. Probe's like, hey boss, I can't build this. I'm gonna put the pylon down. <laughs> I thought I'm gonna gonna go mine. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And I believe it. <laughs> oh, that's man. Nope, that's man bun. <laughs> uh, uh, man bun can be one of many. <laughs> in this particular sense. He says he has to be the only weird, crazy guy. I just do stupid things, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Also, Lots the production of tab, I'm really enjoying it right now. We can see it's about four squares across for every Protoss, and twice that many for the Terran. <laughs> Death Row leaving the base is like, nope. Protoss is like, fine, leave. Fine. Go next. <laughs> Time for this to become the best scouting command center ever. Yay. Oh, yay. 
hole. And it, it looks like we've hit a little bit of a lull here as uh, players are now building up their forces and deciding what to do. His old uh, surrender to hurt took care of him real fast. I get the impression those things aren't very great against zealots. Unless they're in large numbers and have the area effect thing, then they're great against everything that they can hit. Oh dear. Terran army moving out. Zealots are made quick work of. And moving across the map. Oh! One zealot left him alive uh -oh. for some reason. And, uh... Chaos is doing what he can to get an army set up. Still kind of behind in upgrades. Everybody else sitting at about 1 1 2 2. And while I'm pushing up into the base of Probe, it's time to get revenge, or so he would say, but uh oh, here comes some Terran reinforcements from the back. He's got to do a lot of damage. He's got to do it fast. Oh, oh, no. Or, ironically enough, he maybe doesn't really have to. It looks like he's only going to have to engage one army at a time, which is really what he needs right now. Uh oh. Enbon's been trapped in the back. He's gonna go for the exit. No, 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 what's he doing? Right into the death row's base. He's trying to leave, but he's not able to do it. There's no area of effect damage in this army, so he can't run forward into the six There's a disruptor is gonna drop on the army. They're gonna drop on the army. The army. They're not on the army. They're on. Actually, I'm kind of. Kind of half hoping he dropped that and blows up part of the Zathros army on accident. <laughs> <laughs> and the disruptor didn't do anything, just going home. Oh, it's so disappointing. Okay, we're going to follow this guy. <laughs> he's going to do something at some point. <laughs> Someday. So, okay, he's moving down the bay. He's going to go down here. He's going to... He's... I think he wants to go for a drop in a mineral line with it. This is a very strange combination of units, by the way. In this thing. Oh, no! Okay, out comes the disruptor. Oh! It kills two things and nearly dies. He does pick it up and gets away though. <laughs> Good more, reaction. Man, more stuff we've seen from disruptors than we have the entire night. That is the only disruptor who have caused any damage at all. <laughs> Manpon Man. never turned the power on uh, last time. <laughs> oh no, disruptor! Oh, and Bond's building a disruptor of his own. We're gonna have Man Bond attempt to use some disruptors part two. Oh, planetary fortress rush. Going God, down to the 17 minute mark. Me. It's building. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, mules are making sure this thing is repaired. <laughs> <laughs> Man Bond is not happy. <laughs> keep MCs and agree. Oh, he's having a problem with his own with an army in front of his base. Is that disruptor here? Yeah, he's got two disruptors. Oh, man, he can kill everything over there in one blast. Okay, come on. Go do it. Yeah, here we go. Gonna have to hit the hero for a five beam just outside of the range, or they could leave. That's or they could leave. <sighs> well, this Void Ray eventually gonna kill this planetary fortress as uh, Mr. Deathrow's drained of all of his minerals. Trying to repair it. And, <laughs> and he picks up. And Protoss <laughs> is like, damn it. <laughs> Is actually about 30 seconds, 25 seconds on this thing. Not that long. You're gonna try and hit while they're in the middle of uh, recharging here. Oh, two armies are actually coming up. Ooh, much health. Colossus have. Colossus have too much health. He can't kill the disruptors. And the disruptors oh! get to the army and oh, kill a lot of the weaker stuff. Uh, most of most of it survives though. And uh, I think with these two armies bearing down in his base. This one planetary fortress killing what's left. Oh, he's got a boy right now. I'm not even going to kill the planetary fortress. But, uh, yeah, Chaos is going to Chaos is going to recover from Manbon. Yeah, I think he really might be done. Happy to be there. Oh, is he going to get a chance? He's got to see. He can hit it. Oh! Oh, crap. Yep. He's going to blow up all of the remaining Protoss units. <laughs> Aaron got up into their heal buses and completely dodged it. Mad Bond making a valiant effort here, but I think there's just too much crap. Too much crap syndrome. And uh, taps out. There's the G's from Man Bond. Meanwhile, on the left side of the map, we can see that Chaos he. Chaos, he's got one mine and base. He's a man with minerals. Lots of minerals. Actually, he doesn't have much in the way of gas. <laughs> he's a. Uh... Yeah. Let's get the forces getting ready. 
With down 7,000 rolls, I bet, worth of cannons. <laughs> yeah. The remainder of Manbon's base here is getting cleaned up. As uh, Chaos he watches in horror. Actually, yeah, I want to I wanna see what's going on from his vision right now. Right now, Chaos is in his base. He's putting down a cannon. He, he can hear that stuff is dying off in the distance. <laughs> Our allies being killed. Yeah, it's alright. He's got cannons. He needs some pylons. It's going gonna, it's gonna to collapse real easy without more pylons. <laughs> Our base is besieged. Pretty decent, uh. Uh oh. Terran army moving out. Uh oh! The stalkers are here! They're moving in. Same it's okay, there are plenty of cannons here. Oh man, that's a lot of stuff. Just outside of the division. Oh my god! Oh no, god. They're, they're bleeding through. Stuff's exploding. Oh, uh, he turns to look at the army. He sees it. Oh, he looks over the army that has man bomb face. Sees another arm. He can't see anything going on there anymore, and that's GG. <laughs> that's GG. Death row probe. Take that game. Well then.